my best preferred penetration strategy that I suggest to all of the companies I deal with is to go step by step, is to go, mm, I call it a low risk, risk strategy, so that whenever you're taking your next step, you have confidence that it will give you more opportunities and it is likely to bring you more business than the previous one. For example, if you come to Saudi Arabia and decide to establish your, your local company right away, okay, you can do that, but it's still, still a high risk strategy. You did not get traction or you did not get understanding of what the opportunities are, how you should market yourself, and you're already paying money for local representation, legal services, and so on. So I'm going to talk about each of those steps in, in detail in the next slides and explain why I believe this, this kind of strategy is the best. So first step is what we call and what Arabs also like to call test the waters. Before even going to Saudi Arabia, it is better to study what the opportunities that you have online. To run some online ads with a Google ads or LinkedIn ads, or reach out to people that you believe are your target clients via LinkedIn or Twitter or other social media, but probably LinkedIn is the best option here. And trying to get them for, for, to, to get them for online meetings. During these conversations or in, during these initial step, steps, you, you can get some important information about a level of demand for your services, about the ways you should present yourself, about the opportunities that are existing on the market, about their specific technologies or technological nuances that your potential partners may have when uh, when trying to deal with you so you will be gathering some important information that will not let you waste your time locally when you get on the ground so next step is what i call step into the water unlike uh, western europe and the united states where i'm sure many of you have clients already you don't have to travel to the us or to 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 uh, throughout europe to to sign your clients. But this is a very rare, rare case for Saudi Arabia. For most of the uh, work you do, even if you, if you do it remotely from your locations in Poland, Hungary, Ukraine, uh, Western Europe, whatever, you have to get your, get your food on the ground. It's not only to getting know, know the people, understanding the market, but it's also a first time of building relationships. And relationships are much more important in this market than they are in any other markets I know. So what I advise you do on the, on the second stage, do not only come for one week and meet like, the people you, you previously met online. Ideally, I would, I would spend, if I was you, I would spend, and I did that of course many times myself, for, for my clients. So I would spend like one or two months to see the real interest of, of companies to your products. You don't have to establish your local company and pay the legal fees. Just, you know, uh, get your online visa and spend like a month or two or deploy your business development, uh, business development manager on, on the ground. Because when you're taking this first trip and people are hosting you in their offices, the Saudi has a very strong hospitality culture. So they're trying, they're, they're not trying to say, to tell you uh, uncomfortable, inconvenient truth. Maybe we don't want your company, we don't want your product, or this is not convenient for us. They try to avoid no answers. And when they host you, of course, they try, they understand that you are coming for like maybe a few days or uh, like short period of time, they trying to adjust their schedules for you. Whereas if you want to, if you if you get to spend like a month, months or a few weeks on the market, you will get an understanding about uh, real interest towards your product and your company. If if you're you you're you're telling them that you are going to stay there for a few weeks, and they are not giving you an appointment within the first two weeks of your stay, that means their interest is relatively low. If you tell them that you're going to stay for one month or two, 
and they meet with you on the, for the, on the first week's week of your stay, that means their interest is high. And by doing that, you can study the level of real interest towards your products and services.